four more. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Down. You're ready. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Vanity Fair crew, how are you guys? Thanks for coming and uh, being part of this journey. And let's see, let's get ready. Wherever I go, usually my wife and I set up this small temple, this ritual. It just keeps us uh, connected to our energies and India. And it's very important for all of us just to begin this day thanking, showing gratitude to everything and every person who has helped us uh, be here. And not too much, but it's just a few moments, and uh, and we hit the hit the road. Definitely, anxiety is kicking in. I've actually not seen my outfit until uh, until this morning, and wow, it's it's a beautiful uh, work he's done. And I don't think I'll leave the suspender job to the people. Like I said, we've done it all. Now I think the people have uh, taken the suspender look. So let's get ready now, and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. So this is a traditional Indian attire. It's called sari and it's basically a Sanskrit word for a piece of cloth. And we chose this in contrast to Ramser's all black outfit because it will be an amazing red carpet event. But at the end of the day, we do want them to shine on the red carpet, but they're also like simplistic pieces. Less is more when it comes to styling. So my shoes are not a known designer, but he's been in this job uh, for about 60 years. It's a family business, and it's all custom made uh, in Italy. My friend and my stylist is uh, Nikita J. Singhania, who's been doing my work for uh, more than two years. She came up with a very, very well-known designer, Shantanu Nikhil. He's one of my favorite designers in India. But they put in a lot of detail. I really appreciate them. Do you want to say hi to the camera crew? Hello, hello. So yeah, it's come out great, and uh, I'm feeling like I'm wearing India. It's, it's detailed beautifully with everything. And uh, yeah, thanks to Shantan and you. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. It's uh, weighing down a little bit because India's pride is also on our shoulder and it is a little heavy. But literally. Thank you, Nikhil. You've done a great job. Thank you. Here you have uh, Bharat, a coin which has the uh, embossed with the Bharat symbol. And that's a very good thought from Nikhil. Thank you, Nikhil. Should I say celebrity makeup artist or no? I'll Too tell much. you, I'll tell you his uh, <laughs> story. He was in software working in my family company. Then he quit to become a makeup artist. After that, I thought that he was such a rock star and I've kept him for over 10 years now. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> okay. I hope this is waterproof. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're gonna cry? <laughs> if we win, I'm gonna cry. What Pasna Mam is wearing, it's a beautiful jewelry. It also symbolizes the Lillian flower in life-sized by Bina Goenka. She's amazing, Mumbai-based, avant-garde jewelry designer. No. Oh, hi. Wow. Looking beautiful. Mm. Her sari is basically made out of silk scraps by Telangana artisans back in India. So it means a lot for them to be wearing that and representing their state and their city on the red carpet. Nikita styled him so well with a Shantanu and Nikhil outfit. So it's a very special moment for all of us. All right, Vanity Fair, this is where we depart. We need all your luck, all India's luck. And thank you for having us on your show. I already feel like crying. <laughs> <laughs>